I just got out of my hair appointment. We've been completely neglecting housework. I really enjoyed this weekend. It was so good. He has to do some work on his uniforms. Our schedules are conflicting. We both have a ton that we're trying to balance and our marriage kind of gets put to the side a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm so sorry that I'm starting out yet another one in my car, but I just got out of my hair appointment. I got like a couple inches off my hair and then she refreshed my layers, which she did so, so good. The last time she cut my hair was back in February, which you guys um, didn't get to see because I wasn't vlogging, but I love this girl that I go to. She does so well every single time. Now I'm gonna head to Target and just kind of like walk around, maybe see like what fall items are out. Just really wanna enjoy my time out of the house, you guys, because the last two weeks have been kind of insane. Like I've had two heavy weighted back-to-back -back papers due. Actually, the last one I already submitted and it, I did pretty well on it. And that was the framework for a paper that I'm currently working on, which is due Sunday and today is Friday. And if I can submit it um, today, by midnight, the instructor is offering 10 points of extra credit on top of the grade. So that would be so awesome. I have a grade or I have an A in this course, but I feel like I'm like barely hanging on to it. Like it's just not as like strong of an A as I would really love to have. So if I can submit my paper by midnight, that would be freaking awesome. But yeah, I've just been working on schoolwork the last two weeks. Chase was actually homesick for a few days, but then he went back to work and his schedule has been like honestly kind of hectic. I feel like we just keep missing each other. Like the last vlog you guys saw where we went camping and everything, that was honestly the last bit of like good, strong quality time that we've been able to have together. I feel like we just keep missing each other. Like he hasn't been getting home until like midnight. Um, one morning it was like two in the morning. Um, and it's just been like stuff just keeps happening and like if I if he is home at a decent time I'm deep in schoolwork like staring at my laptop for like hours on end It just kind of like been It's just how the last couple of weeks have been you know it happens sometimes But um, we just really miss each other and it's actually kind of making me sad like normally I'm really good about like being on my own and just having time by myself Especially because like I have my own things going on but um, I don't know what it is, this, this last week especially, I just miss Chase so much. And um, I just feel like everything is out of whack. Like our house, you guys, it's so embarrassing, but we've been completely neglecting housework. Normally Chase is really good about like picking up my slack, but with him not feeling well and then basically not even being home most days, everything just got so bad. So um, I think it was like yesterday or maybe the day before that, I finally just tackled all of it. Like I just set aside schoolwork for the day and I tackled the entire house. Um, laundry was piling up, everything needed vacuumed. So I did like five loads of laundry. I vacuumed everything. Um, services needed wiped down. Everything was out of place. So I did some tidying. And now finally I feel like our house is at least back on track. So hopefully this weekend we can get some really good quality time in. I actually woke up to a note that Chase had left on the counter for me this morning. Basically him acknowledging, you know, how little time we've gotten together and him saying like how much he loves me and he wants me to know that he misses me. And he asked me to like set aside some time this weekend or set aside things that way this weekend we can like fully just focus on each other and like have that be what our weekend is about is just like him and I, which is gonna feel so nice to just like reconnect again. I think most of you guys are actually like military spouses. So I know a lot of you guys can relate. And if you feel like you're just in a season where you and your spouse just like, you're like two ships passing in the night or whatever that saying is where you just feel like you know just I don't know what whether schedules are conflicting or he just gets home late or maybe he's gone um, I just want you to know you're not alone um, we can definitely relate some weeks are not like this at all like some weeks are just normal and he's home at a decent time I don't have a lot going on so it's easy for us to just connect and pay attention to each other and spend time together and then some weeks are a lot like these last two weeks where our schedules are conflicting we both have a ton that we're trying to balance and our marriage kind of gets put to the side a little bit when we have weeks like this um, we are more intentional with you know the little interaction that we get we make sure every moment counts I felt so bad though last night Chase got home at like seven o'clock so we were like really excited um, I was like at a good breaking point with my paper I was able to just kind of like put it away for a while so we actually went out into town and grabbed a pizza to take home we were gonna do like this whole like Netflix and chill thing you know like eat pizza watch a Netflix show just kind of cuddle in bed 
um, just for a little bit though because Chase did have work that he had to get back to but it was like 8 30 you guys and my eyelids felt so heavy I could not keep my eyes open I had literally been working on my paper all day and I was just exhausted sorry you guys the car drove by and I felt like they were like really staring at me but um anyways I felt so bad because I ate my pizza and then I was like Chase I'm so sorry but I am so tired I have got to go to bed and I felt so bad but he was like it's okay like I have work I need to get back to anyways and um so yeah he went downstairs to work on his computer for work and then I just went to bed and I felt so bad but then I woke up this morning to that note from him and so I'm really looking forward to this weekend getting some good time in with him he wants to go back to that coffee shop that we tried out in the last vlog um either that or try a new coffee shop we love like trying coffee shops you guys anyways I'm gonna run into Target kind of just like walk down the aisles just kind of enjoy myself a little bit and maybe get a coffee and then I need to hit up the grocery store I don't need like a huge grocery haul I literally just need like a few random things but um I need to stop at the grocery store and then get home probably work on my paper a little bit but we'll see how today goes I will definitely be vlogging the weekend but I will catch you guys at home <laughs> So I actually decided not to go into Target. I figured I better get home before the rain starts and I can just make a coffee at home. So really quickly, I ran through Publix, grabbed a few staples that we needed. I'll show you guys what I picked up and then I'm gonna make myself a coffee and get to work. Okay, so my favorite snack right now is Honeycrisp apples and peanut butter. This is our favorite peanut butter. It's just the Smucker's Organic Creamy. It tastes so nutty and like just natural. So we really like that peanut butter. It is kind of pricey for peanut butter, but I promise it's worth it. And then my favorite apples are Honeycrisp apples. Super like crisp and sweet, but like not, it's just, it's so good. Trust me, try them. And then obviously these last couple of weeks, <laughs> I've needed to caffeinate myself. So obviously had to stock up on some coffee. And then I tell you guys in like every grocery haul I do, um, how much we love to have bell peppers on hand. Cause you can throw them into like literally any meal, any scramble, breakfast, whatever you want to do. Um, a super easy way to add some flavor to your cooking. Also, they're a really good snack with like hummus or ranch or by themselves. I don't know, I like bell peppers. Picked up some bananas, but I didn't realize like these are not, these are not okay. So I might have to take these back and return them, but I needed some bananas. Also grabbed Chase a little treat because I thought I would pick up a coffee on the way home, but I just decided against it. So anyways, I got Chase a little treat and then I needed some ground turkey for dinners this week. Um, they were out of the ground turkey we usually get, but I just grabbed the Genio, it's fine. And then some potatoes. So yeah, super small, simple grocery haul, but it's really all we needed. ish in the morning i have been up since six o'clock i feel like i can just like not sleep in anymore chase and i during the week we get up about like four ish in the morning every day and so i feel like my body just does not allow me to sleep in past six anymore which is a good and a bad thing because i feel like my mornings are really productive um especially on the weekends it's probably a good idea that i wake up <laughs> a few hours before chase because i'm just like not really a morning person so I like that I have time to just like wake up by myself and like take my morning slow before he like comes and pesters me. But um, every once in a while I do miss like waking up with him and like having slow, snuggly mornings together. But 
I'm just gonna let him sleep this morning. I'm reading my Bible right now. I'm actually rereading the book of James, which is one of my favorite books in the Bible. I feel like every time I read it, I just get like something new out of it. So I really enjoy rereading it. I reread it like, I don't know, every so often, but it's a really good book. Um, but I'm gonna finish my reading and then I will catch you guys a little bit later. Hopefully we can um, find something to do today. It's a really like gloomy, rainy morning, but hopefully we can make the most of it. But I just wanted to tell you guys good morning before I forget, but I'm gonna get back to my reading. <laughs> I'm finally up and today we don't have anything crazy planned. It's just kind of going to be a laid back, kick back kind of sort of weekend for us, but we are about to go thrifting and that's something that Marissa and I love to do. Even if we don't buy a single thing, we love to go out and just see like what kind of things we can find, whether it's kind of oddball stuff or just deals in general. And normally, I have to get on Marissa a little bit because with the place that we go to, the books are like four for five or like, no, it's buy four, get one free, something like that. And every single time we go, she just stands in the book section and I'm always like, Marissa, you have enough books. We still need to read the ones we got, but she's obsessed. Like every time we go, she finds like five, six, seven books. And so I always got to crush her heart a little bit, but yeah, that was kind of really it on the agenda, just going thrifting. And then I think we're going to play some games tonight and just spend some time together because last week was incredibly, I would not say hectic, but it was very much like I go to work. I don't show back up until like 3 a.m., 1 a.m., 9 at night, 8 at night. And that doesn't give a lot of room to like be with your spouse and spend time with your family. So I'm really looking forward to just decompressing a little bit this weekend and spending some time with Marissa, spend some time with the pups and just kind of like staying in and relaxing because the weather is atrocious right now we're kind of getting hit with the aftermath of the little hurricane that's been tearing it up on this side of the coast so yeah we're just kind of in for the most part and trying to make the best of you know the weekend and spending time with one another just catching up a little bit i guess Today has honestly been so much fun. The dog just got in from outside. He got a little bit wet from the rain. Um, we went up to Woodbridge and stopped at my favorite thrift store, which is Savers. If you guys are in the area, like you're local to the area, 
Savers has like the best selection. I found like the most like unique pieces at Savers. I tried to like vlog while we were in there, but it was actually really packed. I mean, today's Saturday, so of course it's gonna be a little bit busier. But um, if you want like uh, good deals, Goodwill around here has like obviously the best prices, but Savers definitely has like the best selection and like the most unique items. So definitely check out Savers if you guys haven't already, especially their book section, which actually I noticed today was kind of bare, but I've gotten so many books from Savers. Um, so yeah, check it out if you guys haven't already. But while we were in there, Chase pointed out this beautiful cake stand. He was like, look how classy this is or something like that. And I looked over and I was like, wait, that's so my style. Go get a cart. We're going to grab it. So we left with a cake stand and then a few like fleece um, pullovers just for like fall camping this year. We needed some more like good layers, but obviously I don't want to take out like our good clothes camping. So um, we like to like kind of find um, flannels, fleece, pullovers, sweatshirts, that kind of thing um, at thrift stores because like today I found a brand new um sweatshirt from like a really good brand brand new with tags on and everything for like just like five bucks so it was a really good deal but um what else oh and then after the thrift store we went to I think it's called Stonebridge um it's in Woodbridge it's like a shopping center like kind of like an outdoor shopping center and so we walked around we got a coffee we got um donuts from duck donuts which was so fun we've never like tried anything like that before and we got two pumpkin donuts I think one was called like pumpkin roll and then the other one was pumpkin streusel shrew I can't remember but something like that so good so yummy as a nice little dessert and then we walked around rei we always like to show up every so often over there and just kind of like see all the camping gear and the equipment they don't really ever like change it out like it's always the same stuff but chase likes to browse around but that was so much fun and then it was so funny sorry duke's begging for pets over here but it was so funny because as we were leaving i got a message from a subscriber who said that she saw chase and i walking around and she wasn't sure if she should say hi and it was so funny because this is probably like i don't know maybe the seventh or eighth person who's messaged me saying that they saw us out and about which i'm so surprised that actually a lot of you guys are a local i know a lot of you guys are actually most of you are military spouses and military families but i guess i never realized like how many people are actually stationed at quantico so i don't know it was like so surprising every time that someone's like oh i'm you know in Quantico or always tell you guys out and about it's just it's always so shocking to me but you guys are also like always seeing us at Target specifically which is so funny because I feel like we go into Target looking like a hot mess me especially like I go in there so like bumming it to the max but anyways I'm always getting messages from people who see us out and about and no one's ever said hi and it makes us so sad which to be honest with you in real life and honestly probably on a lot of my videos you guys I have like raging RBF it's so sad it makes me so sad so every time I get a message of someone saying like oh I saw you at this place and I wasn't sure if I should approach you I'm like oh man I really hope like my RBF was just like not out to play you guys it's so bad so if you ever see me like out around Around town and you're like man that girl looks like she's having the worst day of her life I promise you I'm not I'm probably having a really good day it's just my face but um anyways after we were at the shopping center Chase wanted to get some cookies to end our little date day or date night so we stopped by Target grabbed a pack of cookies and then I think we're gonna throw them in the oven and maybe start a game of Monopoly do you guys remember like last winter, maybe like December, January time frame, Chase and I were obsessed with Monopoly. Like it was just a never ending Monopoly marathon around here. So it's gonna be kind of fun to pull it back out cause we really haven't been into it since, but it's gonna be a fun little cozy night. Also, if you guys were wondering, I did submit my paper last night. So hopefully 10 points of extra credit <laughs> um, does me well, but yeah. It's been a productive couple of days and today was really really fun to just like relax well not relax but just like enjoy time with chase and just kind of um i don't know we had a good time today so it's a lot of fun and i'm excited to continue it throughout the night and then no idea what we're doing tomorrow but i'm sure i'll pick up the camera and we'll spend tomorrow with you guys as well The directions that said just six. At a time? Yeah. That's fine, they're huge. Yeah, it said six. We can save them too. Um, six cookies, three apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Can do it that way. Do you want me to use the that? Do you get your story? No, I took a little bit off of it. That's kind of creepy. We're camping in the living room tonight, or the front room, whatever you want to call it. Oh, don't say that like this is the first time you've done it. No, definitely done this before. Multiple times, <laughs> in multiple rooms. <laughs> Here's the setup. We grabbed our memory foam mattress topper from upstairs in our bedroom. And then Chase grabbed our bedding and we just made a, a little bed for us. We're gonna grab a snack, my laptop, and then we'll just have a cozy little movie night with a little snack and just kind of finish off our date night with the dogs, of course. But this is always so fun. I love when we do this, I get so excited. Chase literally brought the dog's beds in here and Duke brought his blankie. <laughs> So family camping night in the living room. Another rainy, gloomy, cloudy day today. We actually just got back home from running some errands. Chase had to get his hair cut and then I'm having some cramps. So as soon as we got back home, I just went to my little cozy corner of the couch. This is like my favorite like corner of the couch. Do you guys have that? Like just like a go-to spot on your couch? I feel like we all have like i don't know i'm a creature of habit so like once i find my little nook like i just i just gravitate towards there but um I have my computer here and i'm just trying to plan out um next week i used to be like a um paper calendar person like a, a planner like a physical planner but lately i've been digital planning i've been using um google calendar for like school assignments due dates personal life things and I've been doing it like week by week, just like detailed planning. And so far I've really been enjoying it. I've been doing this probably, I don't know, like the last month or so. And I've noticed like a huge difference in my productivity and also just like this level of like organization. Like I just feel like my mind is clear and organized and everything's like, I don't know, just well planned. And I've been really enjoying that. So I'm just trying to plan out next week really quickly. That way Monday can be um, started off on the right foot. I love just kind of prepping my weeks on Sundays, like Sunday evenings usually. I'll just kind of like review my calendar and stuff. But Chase is upstairs right now um, making some phone calls. I think he's actually about to go on a run later. And then he has to do some work on his uniforms. So basically we're just trying to get some stuff done early this afternoon. That way later this evening we can enjoy some good time together again. And then obviously um, Monday is a new week. So back to being busy and barely seeing each other. <laughs> no. Um, I've like, honestly though, really, I've really enjoyed this weekend. It was so good. And last night was so much fun. I love when we do that, like just pitching a tent in our front room. Like, I don't know, it just feels like we're kids again. And it also reminds me of like dating in high school because we always did like the quirkiest, like, I don't know, just like thing, like the special like memories that you just look back on forever and ever and ever. Um, nights like last night always remind me of that. But anyways, I'm going to get back to my work and then we will probably go pester Chase upstairs in a little bit. <laughs>